Now, this video is a perfect example of them controlling the narrative. Now, just listen to what this sheriff says. Listen to, just listen to me, okay? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivory, the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, and I'm going to jump right into this. I'm going to try and use restraint as, uh, as I tell you about this case. Uh, and I, I say I'm going to try and use restraint because um, I'm disgusted. The perpetrators in this case are not only disgusting, but they're vile individuals who live stream themselves abusing one of our elderly citizens who suffers from dementia. Even worse, there are two healthcare workers that were entrusted to take care of this lady at a local facility. And I, I want to go ahead and say the local facility had no idea this was taking place. The moment it was brought to their attention, they, um, they did everything right, contacted our agency, uh, fired the two individuals, did everything right. But, you know, it, abusing someone, an, an elderly person, or abusing anyone is disgusting enough. But to make matters even worse, they live streamed the abuse. They actually put it up on a live stream platform so that their friends could watch it, laugh about it, as they mocked this elderly person in her condition. And not only did their friends laugh, they actually made comments back and forth about how she should be dealt with and be put in a closet. So it's just disgusting. This entire thing, is, as you're about to see, um, is hard to imagine that there are actually people in our world that would do this to somebody. Um, as I said, I'm gonna show you the video. It's, uh, it's very graphic, so I, I want to make sure that you know that. But please, as you watch this, think about the abuse that this poor lady went through at the hands of these two disgusting individuals. And, and my only hope is that these two live long enough in life. Uh, I, I, don't, I doubt it. As stupid as they are, I don't know that they'll make it that far. But if they do, I hope someone pays it forward in response to their actions of how they treated this lady because it's truly disgusting. So I'm going to, I'm going to play the, the video for you at this point. Oh, for real, stop it. Now, <clears throat> before we watch this video, okay, you heard everything that he said. Now, what I want you to do is think about all the times that you look at the TV and saw how the police and the sheriff treat people on the street. All the videos you've seen, George Floyd, I mean, all the way back to Rodney King, that kind of abuse. Okay, so what he said, it's hard to believe that anyone in the world would treat anyone with this kind of abuse. Now, what they do and have done and are doing, what he's saying is okay. But what you're about to see, he's disgusted by it. But you shouldn't be disgusted by what you see them do. That shouldn't disgust you. But this, this right here, is what they call controlling the narrative. Make themselves look good, make you look bad. Now, watch this video and tell me who's more disgusting, watching a video of police abuse or watching this video right here where the oh, police say that there's so much abuse. Now, 
Now, the only good news in this case is that the victim is now safe and sound. Um, uh, with the victim is now safe and sound. Which video is worse? The video you just saw that he told you was just so disgusting, the abuse was inhumane, or the videos of what they do. What, what they do. You see, when, when you control the narrative, you can always make yourself look good. Now, this, this clown, he's, and he called these girls stupid. I, yeah, yes, it is stupid to video record in a private facility on your job which is against these people's constitutional rights to privacy. You see, in public, that's different. But this is a private facility. Yes, that, that right there, yes, that was wrong. But the video of what they were doing with a dementia patient, I mean, where was the abuse? I didn't see one punch thrown, one kick thrown, nobody spit on. I didn't see a gun. I didn't see a taser. I didn't see any of that. Now, them recording in a private facility, that's wrong. But abuse, inhumane treatment for a dementia patient, really? But when you control the narrative, you can make people look horrible. But what you do is fine. It's okay. We're, we're upholding the law. Really? Murdering people is upholding the law? Really? Huh. Wow. Your law must be Satanism for real. Because the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. You're murderers, period. 